Maccabeum Revii, 4 Maccabees, 11. And when he had died, disfigured in his torments, the fifth leaped forward and said, I intend not, O tyrant, to get excused from the torment which is in behalf of virtue. But I have come of my own accord, that by the death of me you may owe heavenly vengeance, a punishment for more crimes. O hater of virtue and of men, what have we done that you thus revel in our blood? Does it seem evil to you that we worship the founder of all things, and live according to his surpassing Torah? But this is worthy of honors, not torments. Had you been capable of the higher feelings of men, and possessed the hope of Yahshua from Elohim, behold now, being alien from Elohim, you make war against those who are observant toward Elohim. As he said this, the spear-bearers bound him and drew him to the catapult, to which, binding him at the knees and fastening them with iron fetters, they bent down his loins upon the wedge of the wheel, and his body was then dismembered, scorpion fashion. With his breath thus confined and his body strangled, he said, A great favor you bestow upon us, O tyrant, by enabling us to manifest our, our adherence to the Torah by means of nobler sufferings. He also being dead, the sixth, quite a youth, was brought out, and I am the tyrant asking him whether he would eat and be delivered, he said, I am indeed younger than my brothers, but in understanding I am as old. For having been born and reared unto the same end, we are bound to die also in behalf of the same cause. So that if ye think proper to torment us for not eating the unclean, torment! As he said this, they brought him to the wheel. Extended upon which, with limbs racked and dislocated, he was gradually roasted from beneath and having heated sharp spits, they approached them to his back, and having transfixed his sides, they burned away his entrails. And he, while tormented, said, O oh, period, good and holy, in which, for the sake of the belief, we brethren have been called to the contest of pain, and have not been conquered. For observant understanding, O tyrant, is unconquered, Armed with upright virtue, I also shall depart with my brethren. I, too, bearing with me a great avenger, O deviser of tortures, and enemy of the truly pious. We six youths, rather we six youths, have destroyed your tyranny. Or is it, rather, for is not your inability to overrule our reasoning and to compel us to eat the unclean, your destruction? Your fire is cold to us, your catapults are painless, and your violence harmless. The guards, not of a tyrant, but of a divine Torah, are our defenders. Through this we keep our reasoning unconquered. <laughs>